Welcome back to Tutorials on Tuesdays. I'm Sides. Today I'm going to show you how I build song starters. I like to build song starters as much as I could during the week so I can have these to collaborate with or to send to potential artists or to just practice. So I'm going to walk you through my process and hopefully you'll be able to take some of these techniques to add to your process. Let's jump in the DAW. Um, let's go into Anna 2. Let's see what they got. I really like Anna 2. It's by Slate Digital. They do not sponsor this post. I just have this Slate All Access Pass and I really like it. Let's check out some of these sounds. Ooh, I like that. All right, let me just mess around and see what I come up with. keep that let's just hear it okay so basically I first quantized it and I'm not the best piano player so I really like to mess around with it in here let's hear it. make sure that's on the grid and I'm just gonna press U to quickly cycle this I might do four legatos, so just have them all and do shift, keep. So now it's all forced like that, but I do want these to go all the way to the end. Let's hear how this sounds. Yeah, I like that. I feel like that's a vibe. All right, let's come up with a bass next. Um, I know there's a bass that I really like. It's in Omnisphere, and it's this Moog bass. Let's check it out. the bass notes so if you're just trying to do something quick you just do shift arrow key down and that'll highlight all of the bottom notes in the piano roll um, and then I'm gonna do copy I'm gonna make sure I click this go over here and press paste and then here they are now and let's spice that up a little bit Okay, cool. So this is what we have so far. Okay, cool. Now let me pull up a drum. All right, let's pull up handy dandy splice. Let's just try that. Let's see if that sounds cool. All right, let's mess with it so it doesn't sound exactly like the splice loop so I think it's cool to I think it's fine to use splice loop I just think if you're gonna use it then you should try to 
speed it up a little, I mean, you know, change it up a bit. So I'm going to put on Murder Melodies. It's just a really easy, like, effects knob, and I'm going to make it, I'm going to do this uh, dark and low. making like a driving type beat. Stay on the G. to save my project as the date 78 and the BPM 98 and then try to think of a cool word for this let's call this warm oh you make me warm Logic. This is a stock Logic plugin. I like it because it's just really easy to sort through. Like, I really like this one. so much texture so like this does not you do not have to overthink this play guitar so let me just try to find um, a guitar I like using native instruments contact stereo 
Now I'm gonna go down to, uh, let's try Sunburst. <laughs> I wonder if that will sound cool. Again, I don't want it to sound like everybody else, so I'm gonna do Control B. Okay, so now I got this here. And I'm a den. I really love murder melodies, guys. This is all part of Slate Digital, and no, they did not um, sponsor this. Um, they, I just have this, and it's really cool. Um, all right, so now I want some kind of like a lead. I know I want a lead. Um, let me just save this. Let's try to find some lead. Lead, baby, lead me the way. Okay, cool. So I basically have, I think I have enough to get my song started. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to arrange this really quickly. 
first I'm going to figure out my arrangement. Let's do intro, verse, verse, pre-chorus, pre-chorus, and then chorus, and then chorus, and then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to press shift F, copy that, and then go over here and paste that. Oh, let me open this up a bit. So I like to break these up in increments of four bars so I can add something or take something away. And I also like to color code by pressing Option C. So I'll do red here. Um, choruses, let's do this blue. pre-chorus we can do pink and verse let's do orange why not okay then basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all this command R command R command R command R command R command R and now I'm just gonna take away some stuff actually let's make one outro Oops. outro I'm gonna make that in option C let's make that green whatever and now I'm just gonna delete stuff or mute stuff which is good so actually I want to go back I want to I'm gonna leave just this one just because I have that two bar phrase I want that to be here and now I can do command R 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 because I know that on the chorus I want all of these in so now I'm gonna take out some of this stuff I think like in the beginning I'll just have this and just these and then let's see what else then I'm going to convert to MIDI and I want to separate by note pitch and I want to flatten stack so now I'm going to go through and delete some stuff and organize this arrangement super quick in my head. Um, I know that I don't want these to happen until the chorus, so I can take those out here and here. Definitely out here. Um, let's see, the verse. Let's take away the, the bellish panels of this verse. Um, hmm. This first, we'll just, we don't want any of this stuff yet. Maybe I'll add those, actually, that. Take that away, and we'll take those away. And then the pre-chorus, maybe we'll start having, oops, start having those. Not that yet. Um, definitely not that yet. And then we'll have like a drop right before a space, right before the chorus happens. These can stay. All right, so this should be the chorus. Let's hear what we have so far. the vocals in first so I, I would imagine the vocals will come in the verse like I'm actually gonna keep those out so this is the intro
right, I know I want this to get a little bit better. So if... So, I think we might have our first structure. I don't need these yet. I get songs started. I'm really trying not to overthink decisions. I just want to put out ideas, maybe sit with them for a bit or two and come back and then take it to the next level. Maybe in the next video, I can show you how I would take this and bring it to a level that I'm happier with. Or maybe I can show you how I'd maybe add some vocals and songwriting. Let me know what you would want to see next. Also, please let me know if there's a different topic that you want to learn more about. Once again, I'm Sides. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.